नाउ से सबको मेरा नाम है नकुल मैं बनाता हूँ ब्लॉग्स डांस वीडियोस एंड आई डू लाइव सेशंस ऑन टॉपिक्स दैट आई थिंक आर इम्पॉर्टेंट सो टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट आसाम फ्लड्स इट्स कॉजेस इट्स हिस्ट्री इट्स इफेक्ट्स एंड इंडियन इंडियन मीडिया इज हिपोक्रेसी ओवर द इशू ओवर द इशू ऑफ कवरिंग इट सो फॉर दैट माई वेरी डियर फ्रेंड मोनिका बॉर्डोला इज गोइंग टू जॉइन मी Uh, she currently works in Ogilvy as a digital marketing head, and uh, yes, and she is from Goa. T so uh, she is means totally well known with all the facts and figures of uh, whatever happening in Assam. Uh, yeah, now I can see you. <laughs> hi, Monica. How are you? Yeah. Hi, hi. What's up? I'm good. I'm good. Yes. how things i'm good too uh, yes so uh, just we will go to a uh, topic directly uh, so just tell me sure. see what uh, what what is the history of uh, assam flood and what what is the reason uh, it happens every year see i think um, this question is um, i mean i don't know how <laughs> should i answer that but i guess everyone Uh, while they were in their schools have mm-hmm. read about you know uh, assam is a flood prone area it yeah. is a flood prone area like uh, since ancient times yes and uh, it is because of its uh, you know uh, rivers and its vast network of rivers yes uh, biggest of two is the brahmaputra and the barak river right. and they are connected to multiple uh, other rivers Yes. So uh, it's also because the amount of rainfall uh, that is received by Assam is immense mm-hmm. in the year as compared to other states, and uh, due to that, the rivers overflow. Yeah. Uh, erosion happens, and mm-hmm. um, though this is a problem since so many, many, many years, mm-hmm. but I think uh, the government is is still failing. You know. to kind of resolve the issue yes right uh and we every year we hear that okay this scheme has passed uh, mm-hmm. 25 crores 18 crores have been uh, spent and implementation ho raha hai but mm-hmm. the end result is that every year again the same situation happens yeah. and it gets worse yeah so right so that is what <laughs> is the situation in assam yeah okay so that may brings me to the point that what government do actually uh, when things like this happen what aid uh, is given by government for this see there are multiple schemes you know there are rehabilitation uh, schemes you know uh, to the people who are affected who whose houses are gone in the flood mm-hmm. they don't have land to build their houses there are rehabilitation policies for that Yeah. There are few schemes uh, wherein they are planning to do something which will eventually uh, protect the people to not suffer from su- uh, such such uh, devastating floods. But the thing is that mm-hmm. uh, until this year, I will I, I don't know what's going to happen in the future. Mm-hmm. Uh, that the schemes have always been, you know, uh, it's a short short term, like okay. uh, long term. के लिए कुछ भी नहीं होता है. Uh, yes. it's always ki abhi ke liye okay this this much paisa we are giving mm-hmm. inko help karte hain jitne logo ka ghar chala gaya hai we will give them money we will rehabilitate them mm-hmm. that's how the process goes on and i don't know about the future what the government is thinking because this year uh, probably they are working on some schemes mm-hmm. apparently and uh, they said that uh, things are going to be better so we can just be hopeful about it okay and we hope that the government does something mm-hmm. for it yeah and what yeah. what are the other issues like uh, uh, jaise ghar chale jaate wo ek issue hai and what are the other issues like this uh, by the floods caused in assam and how the wildlife is also are, affected uh, yeah. i have heard that wildlife is uh, affected vastly by this yes so please yeah that. yeah so you must have heard it, heard you know uh, through social media i'll not say national media or something because yeah. it's always the mm-hmm. last thing uh, 
uh, that anybody you know things of when it comes to northeast yes so uh, in kaziranga this year you know almost 85% of the total area was under water oh and i think 150 plus animals were killed okay overall um and then you like you you just can't imagine how bad the situation is mm-hmm. it's it's you know the the animals are coming out on roads mm. and they're afraid of you know cars because they've never seen those yes i, I recently saw when they come out uh, in national i recently saw a video where a rhino just came and uh, slept on the national highway I... yes yes and that was that was really uh upsetting to see you know uh, mm-hmm. that poor animal he he i don't know mm-hmm. uh, it's it's very devastating to see situations like that and th- this year it was 85% of the total area last year it was 95% of the total area that was submerged oh under water that's huge and uh, that's huge and uh, rhinos are getting killed you know one horned rhinos are the rare rhinos yes. that are found in assam only Yeah. So uh those are getting endangered. I mean there's always killings. Yeah. You know poaching Poachers, and everything is there. Mm. On top of that, on top of that then every year uh situation like this arises and then again you mm. lose out on the asset the the you know national uh, not national what I'm saying is the 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 Assamese people you know mm-hmm. they are just so proud of their their uh state animal it's one horned rhino yes and uh, it's it's getting endangered it's a very sad thing um, i don't know how government is planning to cope up with that and mm-hmm. it's heartbreaking actually to see those animals on roads running here and there mm-hmm. uh, i don't remember which war, uh, which year it was but uh, there were deers coming out and because they were not used to such busy roads mm-hmm. uh, some car had hit and few deers died so all I, all such kind of uh, situation happens and it's very very disheartening to see very bad yeah so yeah yeah so that brings me to another point that uh, uh, you were talking about uh, hypocrisy of indian media and why you mm-hmm. think why you think uh, that such an important issue is covered very less uh, on our indian national media uh why it is given 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 very less important uh uh yeah you can as compared to other yeah, as other compared to yeah. other parts i this question actually is a question mark for all um we don't really understand as you know people from if you if you talk to anyone from northeast or that that part of the uh that part of the country mm-hmm. nobody knows actually why this happens we are always treated you know as the others mm-hmm. uh, if i say yeah. we are never the part of the main main line mainland india we yeah. are never a part of that uh it was devastating to you know see how people of assam and bihar for that matter are are suffering from such devastating calamities but still mm-hmm. they were busy covering um Very Amitabh Bachchan. I mean, I'm not saying that which, he's. Uh, which are yeah. not that important, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I I wouldn't say that you know uh, Amitabh Bachchan is not important, but it's always you know a comparison that maybe at that point of time the situation what was happening mm-hmm. in northeast was more important in Assam specifically was more important to get the attention. Yeah. I right. think the international media somehow somehow could cover. uh what was actually happening adil yes. hussain was a part of the the show mm-hmm. and i think we are taken very lightly that's what adil hussain also said in that in that show that mm. uh we are taken very lightly ha chalta hi to rehta hai aisa to hota hi rehta hai so this is the kind of attitude mm-hmm. um people carry mostly yeah. so that's the reason that we are ignored most of the times i i saw one video where uh, uh like uh, the points were given by assam flood is uh, ignored by indian media there was one point that uh, mm. it is an recurring event event so i was like Mo- mm, mumbai yeah. flood is a recurring event too but that is covered every mm. every year 
बट नॉट आसाम फ्लड इट्स इट्स जस्ट नॉट करेक्ट आई थिंक अकॉर्डिंग टू मी एंड दिस इयर नॉट एवरी ईयर आई हैव डोनेटेड आई विल से दैट ऑनेस्टली बट दिस ईयर आई डोनेटेड इट because uh, i was i was i was in india i means i was in as i was at home and i was seeing news channel mm-hmm. there there it was uh, only covering as uh, bihar floods and not assam floods so i, mm-hmm. I thought mm-hmm. why correct why? yeah <laughs> so i mean that can i think only the media can answer i mean if we can just some day get in touch with the editor in chief and everyone <laughs> maybe then they would be able to answer a question i mean you're right in saying that you know uh, the floods in uh, mumbai are being covered mm-hmm. i think it's not just only about flood situation yeah uh, any kind of situation in in northeast yes like, like the militant attack, attack or earthquake like major yeah. earthquake that yeah. that is we give one like very minimum coverage even if we, if it is given uh, any coverage it is for very less amount of time hmm. Yeah yeah it's just a part of headlines yeah. some sometime like okay this and this had happened in this part of the state and just that there are no detailing like mm-hmm. i can give you an example uh, like the terrorist attack of mumbai yeah the, like don't get me wrong i'm not comparing both the situations mm-hmm. but it's it's just i'm saying how indian indian media is a hypocrite i just want to say that mm-hmm. uh, the terrorist attack that happened in mumbai mm-hmm. was you know it it's known by the whole world like bachcha bachcha bhi they know that right. even if they are not from mumbai they will still know what is that okay in 2008 there was serial bomb blast attack by a uh, terrorist group in assam oh. you know in guwahati in bongaigao in kokrajhar among among some other places mm-hmm. i don't think mo- like much people know even know about it mm-hmm. like there were nine serial bomb blast you know like literally serial ek ke baad ek ek ke baad ek this news like was like in guwahati i was not aware of this news yeah. actually <laughs> i i <laughs> exactly. keep on searching so many it, it things, in... but i i have uh, i didn't heard this news even on google this is like very rare i find uh-huh. yeah you have to like specifically yes. type those words type those words to see uh, what exactly the situation is mm-hmm. so it was you know 2008 30 october was the date and it's still still being called as the black day for assam uh, nine serial bomb blast oh. and there were people dying and like when we were on the news like when we were seeing the news channels our local channel it was so devastating to see like i still remember i think i was in 8th standard or so at, at in that year mm-hmm. and i could still remember i saw a person whose the lower jaw was blown off oh and he was sitting somewhere the camera faced towards that person and they didn't blur or anything they showed it as it is and i still have that picture fresh in my mind Bad. like that whole lower jaw was blown off and uh, there was there was an image of uh, a person who was sitting on a scooter mm-hmm. and he was uh, burned oh like however he was there in the on the scooter he was burned bah. and it was a it's a black day for for us mm-hmm. and i don't think that there was such huge coverage of this i mean of course they might have given information about it but there was no coverage yes you know that people are informed about it yes right so that's the kind of uh, i don't know <laughs> that's not good so uh, what that... what would you uh, like to tell to indian media uh, like uh, what are your suggestions actually i would like to say for indian media so media i'm a very small individual yeah, to give even, any suggestion though, to them uh, we but... are very uh, small <laughs> but every voice matters i think so yeah it does so the only thing that i would like to you know um tell them that um, you should treat india the whole the every state of india as a part of you know mm-hmm. the country yes and you should uh you should not be biased in in because media is something that everyone relies on right like everyone uh, 
goes to it to if they need any any information any kind of information that is happening right. in and around them in and around the world it's the first thing that people go to mm-hmm. and they should be unbiased in showing True. the reality the ground reality so right it's very they are just like palomi said it it should be equal importance to every state yeah. and northeast has been lacking that since so many years so many years and i hope that the situation gets better yes yes with time and uh, what what problems uh, do north indian face when they like go to other states or other parts of india for jobs or uh, for studies like what are the problems i think um, it's quite on the news uh, whenever such incidents happen you know and mm-hmm. i i wouldn't say that if even if you take example of this year uh when corona first broke out mm-hmm. uh and and china was the first country to get detected with the virus and uh sadly people from you know india they failed to understand the difference between the chinese people and the northeast people uh-huh. they uh, right. in delhi a manipuri girl was spitted on like a person literally yes, spit I on her yeah. uh saying that she's she's carrying virus she is corona she is corona that's what people call and i don't understand where this mentality comes comes from and this has been for quite some time mm-hmm. now like you know there was another i think uh, nagamis guy or manipuri guy i don't remember exactly who was actually beaten to death oh just because of his looks and uh because he had that you know uh, the northeast asian look so they they t- they they mistook it to be chinese and they they call with so many names so many names you know chinki hakka noodle momo if you remember where when we were in college yes. we made this movie you know how how uh, we are northeast the people from northeast are being uh, mistreated. mistreated so chinki names like chinki and all yes. yeah which is very offensive you know which is very offensive you cannot comment someone on their looks yeah and right. it's very disheartening especially especially in in delhi this thing is is quite relevant mm-hmm. so when i was also in delhi uh i hardly get uh, any such comments you know because they tell me that you don't look from north you don't look like you are from northeast oh. because you you don't have a fair skin Mm-hmm. Uh, you don't have those chinky eyes mm-hmm. uh, your eyes are big so you don't look like from northeast mm-hmm. so those kind of comments i used to get but there were also my friends who who had that uh, asian look and people used to mock at them that really bad and we should really uh, stop doing that and uh, yeah uh, actually uh, i would like to tell one incident uh, like uh, when i when i was in school so here matlab yahan pe kuch log aate the from north east uh, part of india to sell uh, clothes uh, on uh, like uh, uh, cold season like some kuch garam kapde bechne aate the yahan pe so uh, i was really confused like uh, from where did they come from and uh, mm-hmm. later when i got old and uh, i got to know that they are part of uh, our culture our uh, our india so actually uh, in education system also we i think so there is some uh, lack i hope uh, uh, that that of course i agree yes i think that uh, will improve uh, with this new policy uh, which uh, recently got launched uh yes <laughs> any such uh, more such yes, incident you can just you want to tell i personally haven't felt but i have read a lot um in like since i have started working i haven't faced any that's great but yeah one recent incident that i can i can uh, tell you about is that um so i went to udaipur for a trip with okay. my friend and um we were asked for passports oh. in in one of the museums so me and my friend uh, like 
we were towards the end of the queue mm-hmm. while we were entering mm-hmm. and that person was just looking at us uh, since the start so we didn't take it other way like we were chilling we were having fun so when we mm-hmm. gave him the ticket mm-hmm. he just stared at us and he said madam passport oh and i gave him such a weird look and i told him that i am an indian that's, and i told him in hindi that, that's really bad yeah so that was that was very irritating for for i think any anybody that in your own country you are being asked for passport i told him bhaiya aadhar card dikhaun mm-hmm. yeah. passport to nahi lai main yeah and then he was smiling so that's that's the kind of you know treatment that people sometimes give even we were waiting for a bus to come back to mumbai mm-hmm. and then there were few few guys you know teenager guys on scooter and they were saying nepali 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 they were just screaming on the road <laughs> they were driving through and they were just saying nepali yeah and this happened i think uh, last year october and uske baad this year in my own building where i reside with my friend okay mm-hmm. uh, so it was time of holi okay uh so we were just planning to go out in the evening we were just dressing up and uh, i think those guys were from the building itself um uh, they were going to everyone's house just to put holi you know mm-hmm. so they were thumping on our on our uh, door but we didn't open because we just two girls we live in and we didn't want any any issue because they might be drunk or something mm-hmm. and then they were literally screaming a hey, chinese nickel nickel Oh, that's really scary. It was scary, so actually. infuriating. That's really scary. Yeah, you get angry, but you don't. You you know, at that situation, you can't really do anything mm-hmm. because that other other person is not in their senses. That they're drunk, they're playing holy, holy. Mm-hmm. and sometimes you know, a group of guys and alone, you just can't go out and fight fight with them. You know. Yes. And also because we are tenants. so sometimes that is also a, a scary thing that you can't really voice yourself mm. because you never know they might just throw out of their buildings because their their sons will never be wrong their their child will never be wrong right. so the blame would come to us so thinking that also most of the times i think most of the people like us just stay stay calm mm-hmm. and don't react to it yeah, yeah. So, what is your message to all your Indian Indian brothers and sisters, and everyone? What's your message? Luckily, my friends has been have been very supporting. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But yeah, so one thing uh, I would like to say is we are not no different. Um, someone's look doesn't define someone's nationality. and mm-hmm. we belong to the very own india our very own india we are indians as well just treat us just like you will treat anybody else from any other part of the state yeah we are just the same human being we are no different we just want to be treated same right <laughs> yeah so i think uh, we have covered all the important points uh would you like to add anything yeah in this i think one question i couldn't answer that you asked like what are the uh, situations after the flood yeah has happened you know what kind of problems that people suffer mm-hmm. see the main issue is um, and th- this flood is not like mumbai you know overnight khatam ho gaya yeah it lasts for weeks for months so actually i think what oh. happens is yeah for sometimes for months mm-hmm. for a month sometimes for weeks two three weeks yeah and the thing is that after staying in in what like in that devastating situation you get so many problems arise actually like mainly the the kind of health issues that occurs mm-hmm. uh because you know people are being shifted to relief camps mm-hmm. and sometimes people just make their own relief camps you know they go to a higher place they build their own tent they stay there mm-hmm. and uh it's such an unhygienic environment that gets created yeah and uh there are a lot of health issues that comes up yeah and especially uh, during this time when it's a pandemic pandemic situation over Yes, yes. 
exactly there is no social distancing like how would you do you can't even think about that yeah how will you even think of, it's it's so devastating to see you know even the animals it's just not about uh, kaziranga state uh, sorry uh, kaziranga park mm-hmm. national reserve but it's also about the villagers you know who have their own um, uh, cattle and all kinds of animals that they uh, keep for their own livelihood yes. how they are being affected and ultimately how it affects the livelihood of that particular person because sometimes those animals die overnight the water flows in and mm. you just don't have time you have to rush out you just don't even have time to get your belongings sometimes the water yes. rushes in so fast yeah and uh, i think the lot of problems arise i mean especially health issues and especially in times like pandemic it's it's uh, because nobody has the time to think about pandemic right now yes. it's just you have to escape you have to survive you, you just that's, have to that's survive. the first thing mm-hmm. in, yeah yeah and no you can't complain about social distancing you know you will be taken to relief camps there is no social distancing you have to live with whatever minimal amount of things are given to you to you know survive the basic necessities mm-hmm. sanitization uh, is a problem mm-hmm. and then it's it's a very unhygienic en- uh, environment actually and people get affected a lot yes so uh, means what po- uh, positive changes uh, you are expecting in the coming years uh, on whole this issue actually <laughs> um see i'll tell you what another another reason um see the natural calamity you cannot do yes. anything about it right. right like um but there are some man made disasters which occurred just to you know um in the process of doing something so that the, the flood field. doesn't happen building of embank mm-hmm. yeah building of embankments uh by the rivers Uh, those are being built but uh data says that okay this is not something i am saying uh mm-hmm. there are studies on this that environmentalists have said that the engineering processes that are done to build the embankments mm-hmm. they're never being concerned with the experts it's an unplanned uh you know mm-hmm. building of embankments by the rivers which ultimately disrupts the natural flow of the river yeah and then the low lying areas are at a problem at a huge risk and every year it happens mm mm-hmm. yeah so situation like stuff like this also matters i mean natural calamities i can still understand that mm-hmm. the government can take measures to you know somehow uh protect the people from getting affected yes. but this man made issues i think this can be um. done in a very mm mm-hmm. in a systematic way in a systematic way i mean okay they are building embankments but it has to be you know after consulting with the experts the environmentalists mm-hmm. so that uh, whatever they are doing it it is not fruitless yes you know didn't be like that so uh, about being hopeful is that see this year um the central government i think they're going to pass and pass some ordinance to set up some some uh, authority mm-hmm. specifically for for assam mm-hmm. to manage uh, flood water disaster management authority or something like that so we are quite hopeful that they will bring in some schemes which will not be short lived mm-hmm. it will be for a long term so that uh, it, every year going through the same devast- devastation is is you know can be controlled yeah right and uh, we can just be hopeful you know because it's it's kind of we have given up mm-hmm. even we have also we shouldn't do that but we have also kind of accepted the fact that uh, nothing is going to happen right every year uh, the government will make promises uh, it will stay promise mm. it will be on the implementation stage and people will still get affected people will die yeah. so i don't know i mean and amidst this pandemic situation um still government couldn't do anything mm-hmm. and if you know that uh, the alarmingly rising numbers of covid-19 affected patients in in and around the sun yes right actually right now 
so i think this is also a factor to it and we can just be hopeful that things will get better for next year sure yeah we just we just yeah. can hope for that and uh, we can hope that our go our government do something for uh, us uh, just be positive yep. about it <laughs> correct yeah so today i think i didn't get any questions uh, otherwise i would have asked you I'm just checking it <laughs> <laughs> i think people are commenting yes but not questioning <laughs> Yeah, actually, the last time I got a lot of questions, uh, but today uh, there is no question. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think people are quite aware how uh, we are being, you know, you are being always affected, being yeah. tagged as the others. Yeah. <laughs> so people have stopped asking questions on that. <laughs> yeah. That's what the situation is. but yeah it was it was um, i think a lovely session mm-hmm. i could actually say so many things that i always wanted to say yeah <laughs> because uh, it's it's always a discussion with my friends mm-hmm. or i will just maybe write on facebook mm-hmm. my opinion yeah, I, i'm going and, to put this uh, video on igtv so i i hope uh, it will spread uh, nicely yes, and it will reach people. your voice reach yeah. uh, a lot of people I just we will just hope. I for think that. it does. <laughs> yes, we can we can hope for that. But maybe some change. Someone listens to this, and someone thinks that something can be done. Yes. But again, the thing is that uh, we can just be hopeful <laughs> that yes. it reaches the correct people. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, that's what uh, my aim yeah. is to do with this live session to like. Uh, spread the positivity uh, and uh, mm-hmm. bring some changes uh, that is needed in uh, our our country uh, and in our world uh, right. yeah so i hope i, I think, think you're doing you're... a great job <laughs> thank you <laughs> i think you're doing a great job i mean i see your videos and stuff i mean you're really making an effort and that makes us like sometimes me and sanju you know we talk and we <laughs> discuss like how you and nikhil as well have been doing so well surbhi uh, like it is so great to see you guys you know doing so much and um, you guys are actually inspiration to so many people right now thank you thank and, you very much uh, please uh, keep very keep nice doing <laughs> keep doing yeah keep doing you. what you're doing and entertain us and sure. we'll always support you guys Sure, sure. Yeah, and I would I would like to tell yeah. everyone uh, if you have any such topics uh, that uh, that should be discussed, uh, so please DM me. I will be more than happy to discuss it. And I just remembered, uh, Monica. Uh, I actually want hmm. to talk about uh, NRC and uh, that topic and topics. Uh, oh, that is being sidelined now. <laughs> yes. Actually, the COVID I think has should, actually. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> we should actually do a separate session you know yes uh, i was thinking this, of the same particularly this topic i was thinking of the yeah. same and i was about actually, to ask for that we will definitely love to be a part of that because this has been a discussion since a lot lot of time right now and yes. just like i said this this discussion always you know stays with, with my friends with my family and if i get to do this with you then i think it will reach reach many more people and that will give a perspective to them as well as me if they have any questions any any you know uh, mm-hmm. thing that they want to say they they if they want to voice their opinion yes and actually and by the way this covid this, has uh, actually mm-hmm. yeah yeah please say covid has actually helped the government of assam right now <laughs> uh because the the entire topic of nrc and <laughs> caa has been sidelined uh, because of this whole pandemic situation <laughs> and it's it's been a boon to the uh, assam government actually <laughs> <laughs> yeah actually yeah, as far yeah, as, I mean, as, far as i remember a... uh, the actual protest was uh, kicked off by uh, in northeast part of india only later if it went to delhi mumbai and all and it was actually yes, uh, correct correct uh, the topic was sidelined and it was made political totally political in mumbai yeah it was political because because i mean we'll we'll need a separate 
whole session to discuss on it and yeah. it was quite really uh very different from what people were protesting in other parts of country and what people were protesting in in assam or northeast yeah. uh if you see uh yeah. the whole issue was being made political uh, and it was not political at all in 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 case of northeast so yeah. i think we need a whole session to yes, discuss we'll a lot surely, of points we'll to talk surely. about yeah <laughs> yes very soon yes yes yeah, yeah okay so uh Okay. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Monica, uh, for joining me and sharing you your so much. Uh, so much valuable information with all of us. And uh, please, uh, I will tell, I will ask everyone to DM me more such topics so that we can cover it and we can spread some positivity, uh, some awareness on it. Uh, yeah. So, yeah. okay. Okay. Yeah. Signing off. <laughs> Signing off. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>